What's going on guys? Vic VB back with another Game Case Arcades video. This is it. We are done. We have officially bought this beat up bar top to a Game Case Arcades level. This is it. We are officially done with this bar top. Figure, I mean, combined hours, probably spent maybe about, let's say, six hours uh, combined work just to kind of redo everything. Again, we got a track mode going on, 128 gigabyte Raspberry Pi 3 running on this, over, I would say, 15,000 games. This is set. We got brand new control panel with the artwork, vinyl artwork, and we got two wired SNES controllers to complete this bar top. We took pictures, we took a promo video, obviously, so check out the promo video on this restore. So I'm gonna quickly flash a like before we restored it and after. I didn't take a picture before. Um, I will actually attach pictures of what the customer sent me via text. So you could see definitely what we did and how we changed things. I mean, the only real thing I could have done was the control panel, I'll be honest. It was the control panel. I was very shocked to find out that on this certain display, this Dell, he actually had a, um, a VGA, like a computer, like DVI to an HDMI converter which actually wasn't even able to screw in. So it actually fell out as I moved it. So, I mean, again, as far as what I did personally, and again, for the budget for $300, I basically just kind of resurfaced this with a carbon fiber vinyl that I had lying around. We did the 20 button LED buttons from Game Room Solutions. Um, I added the four uh, buttons up top, the start button and the coin button and the LED strip and the two SNES controllers. That's all I really could have done with the budget. Unfortunately, my only downside to this bar top is the audio, the sound. I do have the sound bar on full blast right now, so that's the only downside is the audio. I wish, you know, I could have done something, but that wasn't part of the agreement. I'm sorry, but it works. I mean, if you're close to it, it's pretty cool, but if you're in a loud, crowded room, you can't hear anything. Um, let's turn the camera around. I'm going to talk behind the camera and let's just kind of look over the final details. So if you see the video that we made before when we took it apart and we actually booted up his other heart, his other disc, I mean, this was running a 32 gigabyte SD card and that SD card was missing like the most important stuff. I mean, you didn't have any Game Boys. I mean, you have like, at least Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. His SD card did not have that. It basically only had the SNES and the NES. So it didn't even have like the Sega 32X. It didn't even have Sega Genesis. Missing like main classics. I mean, you can't do that. Atari, I think it had Atari, but you know, you definitely need like your Sega Genesis, your 32X, your Mega Drives. This is like important stuff. The 32X with like Pitfall. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Be careful with what SD card you guys get. Again, this is the hardest thing to sell you an SD card. I just like to make sure that you see everything. Um, just keep that in mind. So again, let's just take a quick look and overview on this. I never did this before, but I did want to try it. I actually have the bar top right now on a piece of wood. My video before I stayed it was a three quarter inch. It's actually a half inch piece of wood. So it's not too much. I could put my finger underneath it. But basically, it does give an awesome underglow to it, kind of like your, you know, Need for Speed, Fast and the Furious type of underglow you put on a car. I think it looks cool. I think it looks awesome. It also doesn't wobble, so it is in perfect condition. It's in a perfect spot. This won't tilt. Again, unfortunately, I couldn't do much with the side art. I only had so much vinyl to at least do the control panel to it. Again, we do have wired 
SNES controllers to this. This is player three. And then we have player four right here. Again, these are wired. I did have them, so I just kind of threw them in because again, my Pi 3 image is a four player Pi image. Unfortunately, again, the last thing, as you saw in my other video, we could not avoid the jank black screws to hold this thing in. As you can see, it scratched up the vinyl, but you get what you get. Again, pretty cool LED strips, LED buttons. We got the LED button set to fade right now. Again, it does talk. It does work in sync with the LED strip. That's how we get it to work. You can see my other videos. Didn't do much about the marquee. Again, I forgot to notice. I don't know if you see this, but this is an R for arcade. Unless you thought this was adcade. That's an actual R. I mean, again, this marquee holder is too big or the marquee is just too small for this. Again, try to make it work. As you can see, I'm going to close the lights, which is the best part about this. Not exaggerating. I mean, look at how much light, <laughs> look at how much light the underglow gives off. So, I mean, again, people that message me, they do make their own game rooms. They put these in basements. And of course, you know, if there's a little glow to it, I mean, literally this is like a whole nother level. I love this. I really do love the underglow on this. It sets it way apart. I've never done it before. I think it looks cool. I mean, underglow on the sides of the cabinet and there's so much glow on the back of it that it's even lighting up the back. So if you did put this against the wall, it would look amazing. It would basically light up the entire room. Basically, again, we're on a track mode. We're on our main wheel, which is our systems slash kind of um, favorite, not favorites, um, collections wheel. So, you know, you got your double dragons, you got all that. Um, again, this does play four player, which I'm going to load up real quick. I always do it. I always load up for some reason The Simpsons. It is a classic game. So if you do the arcade, you go into MAM Arcade and I should have it. Nope, I was playing it before. There's The Simpsons. Let's just load it up just to see it. Again, my only downside, and you guys could definitely see it in the other video, the audio bar, the sound bar to this. There isn't even that much room to play. The way this person made this is like this is drilled. So for me to take this actual piece out would have been a nightmare. It wasn't part of the agreement. Again, four player ROMs on this. So player one, player two, my joystick here, player three, and my SNES controller here, player four. Four player action. Again, when you do go about, again, you can kind of hear it. I'll stop talking. My audio is totally turned up. I love it. I, this is amazing. Again, underglow to it. Some four player Simpsons action. You can't go wrong with the Simpsons. I mean, you just can't. Got the SNES controller. I love it. Again, we do have our save and load feature. So again, I played this before. So if I load, I actually loaded a game that I was playing like yesterday. My only downside again, aside from the soundbar, is the admin buttons are too far for a one handed press. That's the only real thing. I mean, that again, turn the light on. That again, I didn't touch that because the maker already cut these out. So let me hit this. There we go. <laughs> again, this admin control panel was already cut. I had two options. I had, I was either, gonna, again, you need your start and your coins. You're starting to select. So this wasn't here originally. The start and select was not here. So I had to put four buttons here. So I had the option of either doing it on this plate or doing it like game room solutions where they have it on the control panel. This control panel is like not wide enough. Yeah. Or length, whatever. It's not, it's not, it's not wide enough. As you can see, I could literally put, you know, my hand on it. So it was a tough call. It was a very tough cut to make sure I had enough like skin to have enough wood to hold this. So I mean, again, if I put the four buttons here, I would have been able to do the three here, but then there would have been one random. I, there was, that's, that's, that's the only way, unless I would have done one on each side, but then there would have been no gap here and then a big gap here. I like to keep everything in sync and at least trying to make it look good. So, I mean, this is going to conclude this bar top build. We officially retrofitted this. We fixed this person's mistake i know you guys aren't a fan of the selfie mode but this when i do this it actually makes me feel like i'm talking directly to you so i mean again i know you guys don't like it but you're gonna have to deal with it a little bit um i did this exact speech like behind the camera and i didn't feel right i have to say it right to you guys so again 
this retrofitter bar top is officially done. We fixed somebody's mistake. I literally texted the customer pictures of it and he was just amazed. He was like, Vic, it looks amazing. It looks incredible. I can't wait to pick it up. That's what I get out of it. That's what I love about it. You know, again, you could try to build it yourself. You could try to make your own retro pies. I respect that. If you do need help, don't hesitate to message me. You could, you could message me. I do answer back. You could check out my Instagram. You could check out Facebook, Vic underscore VP, Game Case Arcade. You can find me everywhere. I will try to help you as much as I can. And don't be afraid to message me. You guys, the viewers, I gotta give a big shout out to you guys because you guys keep watching these videos and I'm mind blown within like one day. Um, this build specifically came out to like 300 views in one day, which doesn't sound like much, but to me, it's like the world. So you guys are watching it. I really give you a big shout out to you guys. Again, you could add me that my personal Instagram is Vic, V-I-C underscore V-P, or you could do the Game Case Arcades one, which I don't really look at that much. I just post videos when I make a video. But Vic VP, you could actually DM me, you could hit me up, you'll see my personal life and the arcade life to it. Again, guys, bar top, retrofitted. This one's done. If I had a big stamp, bang, I would mark it. This one is officially done. We bought this to a game case arcades level. I keep saying we, remember it is I. I build arcades. I'm Vic VP, game case arcades. I build arcades. So again guys, I mean again, we got another four player mod. This does have wired controllers. This is officially it. I am done with wired controllers. I'm still doing my research on wireless controllers though. So I got a lot of people that want mini NES party editions. I get that, the killers. I get that, but I have to test my controllers, guys. Amazon reviews are not that great, and as some of you know that messaged me, I do actually send you the link to the Amazon uh, to buy them. So, I mean, again, we're still trying to play with them, so I really don't want to sell something that I don't really know too much. A wired controller is guaranteed to work. I mean, it's wired. You can't really mess it up. Whereas, you know, these wireless ones, the most common complaint that people write is that it dies after two weeks or it won't take charge. I mean, that's the one thing that, you know, you got to keep in mind real quick. Again, somebody messaged me, wants to know how to do the um, admin mod, meaning like how do you set up the load and the save state? I could do that real quick. I really don't want to give that secret, but you guys are doing so good messaging me and watching the videos. I'll help you guys out. Very simple, guys. It's, it's a very simple thing. It's not a secret. It's not a hidden gem. You got to load up your retro arc. And basically you have to go into your settings and your inputs and I'll show you exactly what it is. This again is another example of what you need to do depending on how you wire it. Uh, basically you go into RetroArch, you go into settings, you go into input, and then you go into input hotkey. This is your key right here. So you could literally take anything from this and make an admin button. So some people do make volumes. For example, for me, it's exit, load, save, shift. So you do need to enable shift, meaning you have to enable hotkey. That's what shift means. It's hotkey. So you need a button to make hotkey like a, you know, on a keyboard, you want to do control like a capital A, you got to do shift A. You have to hold down. It's like a secondary command. So for example, you have a lot. I have my load state. That's the button on my Zenmo. My save state, that's the button on my Zenmo. So that right there is button 11. This right here is button 12. It doesn't matter what button you do. You just have to tell RetroArch which one it is. The big one is quit. Quit RetroArch is set to my exit. And as you can see right here, button 10. The last one is all the way at the bottom. You must do this one. It's the enable the hotkey. This originally is set for sh your coin, your select button. That's how it is. See again, you have your options for volume. Everything else is not really that great. Somebody suggested one time to make a fast forward. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, fast forward. I don't really know what the point of that is to skip a cutscene. he told me, but I mean, that's that to me, I don't want to do that. But there you have it. That's how you do the hotkey mod as far as the admins. Again, you could do any button. You could literally take anything you want. I simply have the load and the save state, not this plus and minus. It's just simply load and save. That's all it is. Once you do do that, the biggest thing that people get confused about is that you have to go into configurations and save current config. You have to press that before you exit RetroArch. If you do exit, if you do exit RetroArch without doing that, you just lost all the hard work that you just did. So you have to save current config. That is it. 
this is officially done guys that's it now we can enjoy it i always do play a little bit so we go into a lot of the collections i usually go into the handhelds i try to load up a game boy game snes game the n64 and definitely the arcade those are the main ones once those work the rest of it will follow the real last thing to talk about this is somebody people keep messaging me especially about these controllers um i let the customer decide what to do with this controller now this controller does have to stay like this this is a wired controller so this actually has to stay underneath the control panel we don't want i don't want the customer opening this up so somebody messaged me like vic what are you going to do with that now so i normally like to put a little piece of velcro right at the top so you don't really feel it on your fingers or right in the middle and i would probably velcro it here you know make it look nice but i let the customer decide that one time i velcroed it and a customer got upset because he said while he was playing i could feel the fuzziness of the velcro and ever since then i no longer put the velcro i will give you the piece of velcro but it's up to you now of how you want to let that controller go. Same thing with the wireless ones. I mean, you have to put the controller somewhere. It's up to you. I let the customer decide on what they want to do with it. I no longer do that. And again, that customer, I mean, he's a really cool guy, but I literally put like a tiny piece, but I mean, I can't, I'm not going to complain about it. I have nothing to say about it. That's up to you guys. Now you're the customer, you do it. This is your bar top. Now I let you decide on what you want to do. Again, it's about a six foot wire. So this one, somebody could be standing next to it and enjoy it. Um, as far as the screen, I believe the arcade one up screen is a little bit bigger than this. I mean, again, I think it was a 15 inch screen. So that's it.